Hi, it's Paul here again from Total Soft Water. Just got a short presentation for you now, a short video on the different types of drinking water filters that are available. People often ask us, what's the best type of drinking water filter? Well, that really is a subjective question because it inevitably comes down to what you like the taste of the most. Um, but to try and keep things simple, there are actually only three different types of drinking water filter that you can buy. Obviously, there are thousands of different brands but they will always fall into one of three categories. And they will tend to be what we call taste and odour filters, invariably based on carbon, scale reducing filters, a bit like the cartridges you get in the jug, only they're online when they come out of the tap, and what I would class as a drinking water purifier. And I just want to run you through the three different types of those that we've got here in the shop. The first type of filter we want to talk about are carbon filters or taste and odour filters as they're sometimes known. And they range from something like this, which is a, a reasonably small, reasonably cheap, um, can be quite cost effective way of treating the water. This is based on a block of carbon. Um, these are very common on, on fridges, either with a carbon block or perhaps a tube full of carbon powder. Um, and these are quite good at removing the, the chlorine from the water. Uh, make it taste better. Um, don't do much else, fairly sort of simple systems. The other options that are available are something like this based on what we call an Amatec housing or an Amatec style housing. Amatec a bit like the, the Hoover, shall we say, of drinking water filters and they use what's known as the 10 inch standard cartridge. Um, and this is a fairly typical 10 inch standard cartridge. You can see Unsurprisingly, it's about 10 inches long, and this contains granular activated carbon. So you can see that there's an awful lot more carbon in here than there would be in the, the cartridge you've got here. So this would be good for family of four, and would typically be used at the kitchen sink where there's a, a drinking water spout, and the water runs through the carbon, all the chlorine gets taken out, makes the water taste nice and clean, nice and fresh, but leaves the hardness in. And there are several derivations of this type of 10 inch filter that are available. This one is what's known as a CBR cartridge. This is a carbon block. Filters down to a much finer level. It's also able to take out things like bacteria and some heavy metals. And then something like this is what's known as a TSGAC. Um, this is a scale inhibition cartridge. I give this a shake, you can just hear that there's some crystals of uh, chemical kicking around in here. It's a phosphate based chemical. Food grades, I don't get alarmed by the word chemical. Um, but what this does, it dissolves the phosphate into the water. It kind of gives the hardness a bit of a Teflon coating. So if you were to use this in uh, a kettle, the water would still be hard. It would do part of the job of keeping the kettle clean. Um, but equally, this would still give you good, clean, fresh tasting water with no chlorine in the top. The second type of filter we were talking about was a scale reducing filter. Um, this is an example of one of those. There's actually very few scale reducing filters. People not naturally assume that if you put the water through a drinking water filter, it'll take all the hardness out. It won't, as I said before, the carbon won't do that on its own. What this filter has got is some carbon in there to make the water taste good and then there is some hardness removal media which absorbs the hardness in the water and leaves it clean and fresh and ready to put in the kettle and that will certainly help keep your kettle clean and give you a, a scum free cup of tea. The third of our three drinking water systems are the range of purifiers that are available and the most common of these are reverse osmosis or RO and there's a good example in this cupboard of one. This is the Kinetico K5 system and the way that an RO system would work, it's a multi-stage filtration process which finishes up with the water being passed through a semi-permeable membrane, a bit like a sausage skin. And what happens is the water is allowed to pass through, but the dissolved impurities stay behind and are flushed away. It's the only system that will remove fluoride from water, and it's becoming more and more popular as well with houses where you perhaps can't get a hard water supply to the kitchen sink when we're installing a water softener and if the family aren't happy to drink softened water then RO is the answer because this gives the purest quality water at the kitchen sink. Also makes a fantastic cup of tea and I'm not sure if you've seen the other videos we've got on YouTube but check out our 
RO making cup of tea video that's uh, on our channel. And as always, if you need any more information or I'd like to talk about any aspect of drinking water filtration, give us a call at any one of our showrooms, which you can find on www.totalsoftwater.com. Thanks for looking.